is it possible to lodge FIR to any of the police station irrespective of their jurisdiction? So the answer is yes. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sapaha and in this video we are going to discuss about a very important two provisions which is for a common man where if there is an urgency they can go to any of the police station and lodge FIR. Now first of all it is again necessary to understand the meaning of FIR. Although I have made a separate video to understand the meaning of FIR and complain and also the difference between the two. So in this video we are going to discuss about FIR that to zero FIR. Now what is zero FIR? Basically this term has been used when any person who is having an urgency and he cannot reach to the police station where the jurisdiction of that particular offense is. Then he can go to any of the police station to file a or lodge a FIR. This is basically a Supreme Court real ruling to save the time of a victim. Now in that case it is a duty of that particular officer to lodge an FIR and transfer that FIR to the concerned police station. Another thing is why it is called as zero FIR. Basically every FIR is having a number so that you can relate or identify the offense which has been committed. But zero FIR since it is not lodged in the that jurisdiction where it is supposed to be lodged then there will, will be zero number and then it is transferred to the jurisdiction. So that's why because the numerical value the number is zero that's why it is called as zero FIR. Now under which circumstances zero FIR can be lodged? Now that circumstances could be any sort of urgency or any sort of sensitive issues. Now which type of sensitive issue? That can be a case of domestic violence, that can be a case of rape, that can be a case of molestation or any sensitive case related to women or a child or old age people like this. So in that type of cases, if it is not at all possible to move to that jurisdiction where the offense has been committed, then the victim can go to any of the police station to file an FIR. Similarly, urgency here means urgency is if suppose a person is traveling and he'll received a call that there is a robbery at his home and he is traveling. So he is not having a time to go to that particular place or where his home is and then lodge an FIR. So he can move to any of the police station at that particular place where he was traveling or where he was there at that particular time and he will lodge an FIR. And it is a duty of SHO to transfer that FIR to the particular jurisdiction. And then the action will be taken place. Now, by any chance, if any police officer refuses to file an FIR, then he can, the victim can complain to superintendent of police and he has to take the action against that police officer also and he can ask for the further investigation also. But again, you have to remember that that matter must be of any urgency or a sensitive matter. It is not, this provision is not for those people who are having ample of time and they are not having any emergency or they can move to the concerned police station where the jurisdiction falls of that particular offense. It is not for that person. This is for a uh, sensitive issues. So you have to take this particular thing also in the consideration. Now next is virtual complaint. Usually virtual complaint is a provision which is again for the sensitive issues. Now sensitive issues means again maybe the case of domestic violence, maybe the case of rape, maybe case of wrongful confinement or wrongful restraint or any sort of such thing whether, where it is not at all possible for a victim to move physically to any police station to lodge FIR. Then in that case that particular person or victim can file or give a virtual complaint through either email 
or through mail also and once that has been received to the either the deputy commissioner or commissioner of the police then they will send to the that police station where that jurisdiction falls then they will take action and if needed they will go to the house of that particular victim and then they can start the investigation these are the provisions which is made for every individual if there is any sensitive case or a matter of urgency but always remember that has to be used properly and if required then only otherwise you are wasting the time of police so that's all about zero fir and virtual complaint hope you like the video and if you like it do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel